Welcome to this edition of the Sports Detective Podcast Show. My name is James Williams, and today we are talking about the newest NCAA football game and when it will be released. Um, if you were on Twitter over the past week, you know that there was a release date that was announced. Unfortunately, guys, that release date was uh, false. It was fake news. And I'll go ahead and show you guys this article here from Bleacher Report that kind of confirms that. So basically, for the people that don't know, um, NCAA football came out in 2013. And basically, since then, we have had a lot of basically like teasing of when we are going to get it again. Is it going to come out? Here is it going to come out there? Are we going to get players' names in it again? Is it going to, um, you know, have this part in it? Is it going to have a transfer portal in it? Is it going to have NIL in it? But here's this report here from uh, Bleacher Report, as I just mentioned. EA Sports College Football Game doesn't have release date amid July 12th rumors. Again, this is something that um, people have been teasing about this even just this past few weeks, where there was like rumors that like, oh, during the national championship game, if you're watching, they're going to have like the trailer for the game in it. And then it didn't happen. And then it was like a few weeks later, it's like, oh, no, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. We have a July 12th date. And then EA Sports comes out and says, no, that's actually not true. And that's basically what this article says. Rumors circulated Tuesday that EA Sports college football game will be released on July 12th, but the date isn't set in stone, according to college football journalist Matt Brown. Just talked to two people at EA with direct knowledge and both said we have not shared a direct date with anybody and would not confirm this date. July is what I've heard is the target, so this could be correct, but I haven't seen it in writing and EA won't confirm it. Very kind of depressing news there, guys. Um, and I kind of just want to, you know, talk about this before we read the rest of this article. Is like when we get into this stuff, when we were talking about this stuff with the... Uh, the Emmanuel Acho story the other day where it's like when we look at sources, when we look at stories like this, and again, I, I fell for this too. I didn't necessarily dig for it. The only reason I'm sharing it now is because it was like a false story. But if you want to like be kind of like confirm and actually, you know, make sure that like the information that you're reading is, um, you know, factual, sometimes it might help to do a little bit of digging on this stuff. So We'll just kind of read here, just kind of give a little bit more um, context to this article. EA Sports developed college football game from 93 to 13, ending in NCAA 14, uh, football 14. However, the NCAA did not renew its licensing deal with EA Sports um, or Electronic Arts, effectively ending the series. 11 years later, though, the series is making a comeback. The NCAA football series was more or less a college version of EA's Madden NFL video game, but it appears the game will look and feel different, according to Brown. I've been writing this basically ever since I broke the news about the game. EA does not want to just do a Madden reskin. Brown wrote, they want the college football game to be completely new IP. All right, so there you have it, guys. There's basically the article. That's basically all we know about this story right now. Um, I will say this. It does sound like they're working on the game. However, because of this report here, because we've been getting teased, over the years about this game eventually coming back. I'm skeptical that we're going to have it. I am very, very skeptical that we are going to have it. And I was trying to do a little bit of like research on this because it's like, well, you know, the, the ESPN or the, excuse me, the EA sports release date, um, that rumor. Cause I was like, okay, well, well, if it, why, why are we buying into that rumor? Well, one, I think people are just very, very hungry for that game. Cause it's very, very popular. Um, if you look up prices for like the the last game that came out on 360, people are very much you know still interested in trying to play that that version of the game, even though it's like 10 years old at this point. Um, and I am too, by the way. I'm probably the next time I go over to my parents' house, I'm going to try and dig up my old 360 and see if I still have the NCAA 14 game. Hopefully, my nephew didn't take it. Um, with that being said, though, guys, I'm get, I'm skeptical that we're going to get it. I'm getting very very skeptical. It just seems like. It just seems like it's going to be a lot of work because um, you have 130 teams. You have, especially if you want to have the real names of all the players, that just seems tricky. It's always seemed tricky to me. I don't know anything about like how the transfer portal and NIL stuff would work in a video game because I'm not even exactly 100% sure how that stuff works in real life. So that's an other interesting factor here. But I I'm getting... I'm getting pretty skeptical of uh, that we're actually going to get this year. And part of the reason is, too, you know, if you look up Madden um, and you're like, because I was like, oh, well, maybe they have a because 
getting back to the release date point I was making earlier is, um, oh, does Madden like 20, 2025. Now it's weird because they had a 25 Madden in like 2012 or whatever. Um, when Barry Sanders was the cover. Um, and uh, so it's like kind of weird to like search like Madden 2025 because you get all of the stuff from like 2013 or whatever or 12. I can't remember what year that came out. Um, but like they, if you go and look on like EA's website, it's like, oh, August. We don't have an exact date yet, but we know August 2024 is when we're going to have that. That is when they know. You can't find that stuff for NCAA 14 or 24, 25, whatever year it would be. Um, and that's because they don't know if they're going to have the game out by then. And they're going to keep teasing you along the way. We're probably going to get four, more fake reports. We're probably going to get more stuff that comes out over the next few months, guys. But I'm that's basically the reason I'm making this video here today. I'm, I am skeptical. I'm very, very skeptical that we're actually going to get the game. I'm not sure we are. I hope we are. I will buy a new whole gaming system to play that game. I will, I, I will buy a whole new gaming system. I have a PS4 right now. It probably isn't going to be able to be playable on a PS4, so I'd have to buy a PS5 or an Xbox, whatever the new Xbox is. I don't even know. So there you have it, guys. Those NCA 24, 25 rumors, whatever the game's going to be called, the new football game, those reports of the release date are false. Um, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, do you think we're actually going to get it this year? Do you think they're just teasing us again? Um, are we ever going to get one again? If we do, is it going to be this year? Just let me know in the comments. If you like content like this, um, I don't know how much video game stuff I'm really going to keep talking about. But if if we do get kind of get more news on all of this stuff, I will, you know, try and report it on this podcast feed. So if you want more updates on this stuff eventually over time, you know, hit that subscribe button. If you like that video, hit this like button. We've been doing this podcast now for over four years. We're just now starting to put clips like this on YouTube and um you know, if you want to help support the show, help us out in the algorithm, subscribing, hitting that like button really helps us out. So thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you next time.